Solanum, or the nightshades, is a very diverse group of plants, including tomatoes, potatoes, breadfruit, and several other edible species. They all share very similar flower structures, and uh, most of them have fruit. Most of them are ha- have poisonous parts. Even even tomatoes are poisonous when they're green, and same potato fruit are also poisonous. Even the green skin on a potato is poisonous. A toxin common to many of the nightshades is solanine. It is a, the plant's natural pesticide. Solanine poisoning will cause both gastrointestinal and neurological disorders. Nerium or oleander is found in the southern states of the United States from California to the Carolinas. The most significant toxins are oleandrin and nerine. Both of them are cardiac glycosides. The toxins are present in all parts of the plant, but they are concentrated in the sap. It is reported that about 10 leaves is enough to kill an adult. A single leaf might kill a child. Ingestion of the plant causes both cardiac and uh, gastrointestinal effects. About 2,000 people a year are poisoned by oleander in Sri Lanka. It's a favorite method of committing suicide. Poisoning often happens when someone tries to suck the nectar out of the flowers or, or somebody chews on the leaves. You can also get poisoned by eating the honey made from oleander. Poke or pokeweed can be found throughout the United States, though it is native to the southeast. It is widely used as a pot herb, but it is very toxic and its use for that purpose is controversial. It requires several changes of water. The berries are used to make a red dye. In fact, it was the dye that was used to write the Declaration of Independence. Consuming fewer than 10 uncooked berries is generally harmless to adults. It has been reported that children died following the ingestion of uncooked berries or pokeberry juice. Another person was reported to have died after eating tea made from the roots. He used half a teaspoon of powdered poke root. Rhubarb is most commonly known as an ingredient for a a special pie. It uh, tastes very sour. That's because of the uh, oxalates in it, oxalic acid. The leaves are considered to be very toxic and uh, have even obviously killed people, or I wouldn't be mentioning it. There is also apparently an unknown toxin because the oxalic acid alone isn't enough. The plant originally comes from China, but there's other varieties that grow along the Volga River. There was one incident in World War I where the uh, British government told the people to eat the leaves of rhubarb. I guess they were trying to save resources, but many people died. Rubber vine is native to Madagascar. It uh, only grows wild in the U.S. and Florida. It has become invasive in some places in the world, like it's especially bad in Australia. It is often planted because it's a source for rubber or latex. It also has very attractive flowers. Rubber vine is extremely toxic to all livestock. Less than 10 grams of rubber vine leaves can kill a 400 kilogram horse. It's also highly toxic to cattle, sheep, and goats. That would translate to about a teaspoon to kill a human. The sandbox tree is a tropical tree. It uh, grows wild in Florida. The Native Americans used to uh, use the sap to make poison arrows. The fruit is shaped quite a lot like a pumpkin. When they're ripe, they explode with great force, sends the seeds flying far from the tree. That's the reason for one of its other names, dynamite tree. It is a very large tree with... uh, large oval-shaped leaves. Some of the symptoms would would include intestinal cramps, gastrointestinal upset, vomiting, rapid heartbeat, impaired vision, delirium, convulsions, and even death. It's a member of the Spurge family. It emits a caustic and poisonous sap that can cause inflammation and sores. There are about 70 species of tansies that are native to Europe, but they've been introduced into most of the United States. There's, they are a perennial herbaceous flowering plant of the uh, aster family. Tansies have a very unpleasant odor. The toxic substance is a greenish volatile oil with the uh, unpleasant smell. The effects are different depending on the amount taken. A small amount, will the, the effects are ju- just uh, chiefly gastrointestinal, but more of it will start affecting the nervous system. It takes a couple of teaspoons for a fatal dose for a grown man. The plant has been grown for use as a uh, pesticide. It repels insects. 
It's placed on windowsills in England to uh, keep flies away, and is often planted in gardens for that same purpose, keeping ants away or other bugs. Tobacco, or the genus Nicotina, is widespread in the Americas. They are more common in the uh, warmer areas. Tobacco are members of the nightshade family. The species has a long history of use by humans. The main toxin is nicotine. Nicotine is about up to 3% by dry weight of tobacco. There's about 1 milligram in a cigarette. It takes about 40 to 60 milligrams for a lethal dose for a person. Some species have very much higher concentrations of nicotine. The most distinguishing characteristic of all the different species is probably the tubular-shaped flower. They're pretty small, usually smaller than your little finger. Tongue oil trees are found primarily in Florida, the Gulf Coast, and California. They are native to Southeast Asia. They're members of the Spurge family. The fruit is woody and pear-shaped and is a, is a couple of inches long. They are small to medium-sized deciduous evergreen trees. They can grow up to about 20 meters tall with a spreading crown. The bark is smooth and thin and it bleeds latex, which is typical of many of the spurges. The trees are valued for tongue oil, which is derived from the seeds. It is used in paints and varnish. A single seed can be fatal to an adult. The leaves give some people a rash. The plants are considered a serious invasive pest in parts of Florida. White snake root isn't particularly palatable. The plant isn't consumed by humans, yet it was responsible for the poisoning death of thousands of people in the 1800s. One of the people it killed was the mother of Abraham Lincoln. The toxin is rather unusual in that there's a chronic dosage which uh, accumulates over time. Most toxins are rapidly removed by uh, our body's defenses. What happened was that cattle that eat white snake root accumulate the toxin and they release it in their milk. The people didn't realize what was happening. The plant is about three feet tall and it occurs throughout the uh, Midwest. It has been mistaken for nettles. It generally flowers in September to October. It can also poison goat's milk. Yellow oleander is a member of the dogbane family. It is native to Mexico and Central America. In the U.S. it is only found in the wild in Florida. It is a small ornamental tree that grows to about 15 feet tall. The fruits start out as greenish, but they turn darker when they get older. It contains a milky sap containing a compound called thevitin, it is used as a heart stimulant. In its natural form, it is extremely poisonous, as are all parts of the plant, especially the seeds. The seeds are encased in a large fruit. A few birds are able to feed on the seeds, but they are poisonous to most animals. As their name and general appearance suggests, they are related to oleander. It would take about 10 kernels or seeds to kill an adult human. Poisoning by you is unusual in that it often doesn't have any symptoms. You just drop over dead. They are found growing in the wild throughout the northern hemisphere. They are often used as a hedge or, or in other landscaping. English longbows are made out of the wood of, of English yew. They are actually conifers and the uh, fruit are modified cones. Their fruit are probably the most distinctive part. They look rather like small acorns when they're small but as they grow older, they look like some sort of hollow berry. The seeds are dispersed by birds. Yew is toxic to most mammals, but uh, deer can eat them. That's it for the lethal plants.